Okay, this is a video to show undercutting doorway in order to put in a tile floor. And I've already done this before for hardwood floor. And you can see this doorway, I undercut half of it before knowing exactly what I was gonna do in here. Now that I've got the tile selected, I'm going to go ahead and undercut this doorway. I've already undercut this side, I haven't undercut that side. I took out vinyl sheet vinyl here and that's why this had previously been cut to that level now what I'm going to be putting onto this subfloor is a quarter inch of hardy board now the difficulty in undercutting for tile is you have to take into account the thickness of the adhesive the thin set so the hardy board is exactly a quarter of an inch for all practical purposes I measured it off it comes out at a quarter of an inch the, the trowel that they recommend using is the half is the quarter inch by quarter inch trowel um, the square trowel and this is quarter inch by um, quarter square yes it says it right there it's actually six millimeters by six millimeters by six millimeters by that's essentially the same thing. Uh, oh, there it is. It does say it right there. Quarter by a quarter. SQ square. Yes. A quarter inch by a quarter inch by a quarter inch square. Okay, sorry. Okay, now, if you ended up with trowel ridge that was exactly a quarter of an inch, and then you pushed down and completely eliminated the ridges, you'd end up with half of a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch. But they don't start off at a quarter of an inch because you have this thing at a certain angle, ideally 25 degrees, but the reality is it can vary depending on how you're applying it. Okay, so, but the general rule is that you're going to apply it, it's going to be slightly less than a quarter of an inch. But then as you push it, it's not going to be pushed down completely. So it might start off at 0.7 times a quarter of an inch if it was at 45 degrees but it's not going to go down all the way and it might end up going down only about a, to a half of a quarter of an inch so for a rule of thumb what you use is half of the notch is what you end up predicting the thickness of the adhesive so in this case I'm going to allot for a one eighth of an inch so on the hardy board I'm going to have a quarter of an inch hardy board which I don't have here because it's down in the garage it's too big plus an eighth of an inch for the trowel. Then I'm gonna have on top of that, this tile. Well, the tile is five millimeters thick. Well, that's actually each individual tile is slightly different. But five millimeters is the closest thickness to within a millimeter. That's very close to a quarter of an inch. Only this is not going to have necessarily as thick of a um, adhesive. So I'm toying between an eighth of an inch notch, which is what this is, and a quarter of an inch uh, V notch, which is this. The, I, the reason is uh, I don't want to put down too much over, over thick because the adhesive inset is going to come up between here. I don't want to have to clean it all out of these very small areas. Um, so I'm lean, based on what I see on the internet, the correct Tilers, the tilers used for this five millimeter tile is the eighth of an inch. So that's what I'm leaning towards. Okay. So, but, um, so technically, it, I would end up probably with only a sixteenth of an inch. So if I took, now if you add all this up, quarter of an inch for the hardy board. Let's just go through the map. If I have a quarter of an inch for the hardy board, one quarter. Plus an eighth of an inch. Turn on the light here. Plus an eighth of an inch. Okay, then I could allow a quarter of an inch for the tile. But instead of an eighth of an inch, 
I could allow only, let's say, a sixteenth of an inch. Oh, yeah, I don't have my. Oh, yeah. Here's what I want the marker. Okay, so here's the way I want a quarter of an inch for the hardy board, an eighth of an inch for the thin set, a quarter of an inch for the tile. And basically only a sixteenth of an inch for the thin set. Well, this is all going to come up to three quarters of an inch minus a sixteenth. It's a sixteenth away from that. Okay, now, the other thing that you might want to take into account is the thickness of the saw blade when you undercut it, but that's thin enough that I don't worry about. And, um... So the basic answer is I want something that's close to three quarter of an inch, but let's say not more than three quarter of an inch. So it just so happens that the hardwood flooring that I've been using is actually a sixteenth of an inch shy or so of three quarters of an inch. It actually uh, it varies a little bit um, from lot to lot and what have you, but it's always a, the nominal is three quarters of an inch, which is always a little bit shy. What that means is using an undercut for three quarter of an inch is going to be very close, and I'd rather have it a little bit more than a little bit less. That's one reason why I don't cut with a saw blade itself. The reason is because it might go in at a slight angle. And a little bit of a gap there is not going to hurt you. If it's a little bit too tight, you, you've got to actually saw, take a little bit more out. That can be painful because you can't really saw a teeny, teeny amount. You have to sand that out. So at the end of the day, anyway, I might have to make an adjustment. But what I'm going for, partially out of convenience, is I, and I think it's right, is the, a three quarter inch. And this is the same block that I actually used to undercut the other side. Now in undercutting half of a doorway, it's, it's nice to see how the doorway has been put together. These are the these are actual cross sections. Well, this trim piece, that's simple enough. That comes right off when you lay a, a spacer block and a saw and you cut it. Okay, I've been using this dovetail saw. I don't have to use the so-called um, uh, whatever they name that other type of saw which is totally flat which has an offset handle and the reason is because at three quarter of an inch the thickness of the handle is, is not so thick to get it to get in the way I actually just slide it along and it that comes out fine now on the uh, on the other piece which is this side which has already been partially cut the idea on this one is I'm going to cut through this, okay, um, but in this case, once I saw through to a certain amount, I don't actually need to saw off this piece here. In fact, the saw won't necessarily get in that far because it actually starts to bump into, so the way this is, it actually starts bumping into uh, this, the other, the wood on the other side because it's actually flush with it. But I don't need to do that because once I saw just up to that, this piece is so weak that it actually breaks away. That just breaks away from the other piece, and that other little piece is just left in there. Not a big deal. Okay, so anyway, it helps to know how the, the, the door jam is actually constructed. But uh, long story short, I am able to get a smooth undercut. Now you can see this one is a little teeny bit tight, and that's the reason is because. Uh, I actually undercut it with this piece. This piece, it turns out, is a tiny bit thicker, okay? Just because of the differences on these lots, the two lots, one was a little bit thicker. In this case, I don't think it's gonna matter. But at the end of the day, I think it's gonna, of course, this was just an approximate three quarter of an inch calculation, but remember now, I made a little allowance. It's actually gonna stack up to be slightly less than that, so it should work fine. Now, I still have to undercut on the other side, which is simply a little bit tighter, but it should be the exact same procedure. I think what I'll do is hit pause, make the cut, and then show you how it turned out. Okay, now the jam was not a problem. 
use a little wax on your saw blade. This saw blade has been working fine. It takes a little bit longer maybe, but I didn't want to have to go out and buy any saw just for that. So everything looks okay here. This is going to end up having a transition piece, which is really uh, same level because uh, this floor, the stack on the two sides is really going to be the same. So it'll be just fine. So that's it for here. Thanks.